What is up, Dinesh here, and I've got a really interesting question from one of the insiders in our platform. So yeah, I of course answered it, but I want to give you the um, insights as well, so you can benefit from it as well. And yeah, let's get into the question. Hi Dinesh, Happy New Year to you, and I hope you have an amazing year. Thank you. I would love to hear your honest thoughts on the below questions. If I were to change my field and work in the XR the whole time, would I earn enough? Is the mixed reality field as rewarding as other fields like data science? I'm learning XR from you and simultaneously learning AI and machine learning from other online courses. I have to choose any of these as my career and continue with it. So please do let me know your thoughts on this, if XR is a good field to shift my career into. If not, I still plan on continuing to learn and develop XR related apps as a freelancer and work on weekends. Thanks and regards student so first of all i would be really really curious on your thoughts so before even watching my answers just like pause the video and then it would be amazing if you can just like share some of your thoughts um just a few bullet points would be amazing maybe you have some insights that um or most likely you have some uh, other insights that i didn't like cover in this video or in this answer so yeah, pause the video and let us all know. But now let's get into the answer. Hey student, happy new year. In my opinion, XR will be very rewarding in the not so distant future. There are many reasons for that. First, pretty much all major companies. So for example, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google, and like um, German automotive companies, Audi, Volkswagen, Mercedes, Samsung, Intel, HTC, like so, so many companies are heavily investing in XR and they don't do it for no reason. Also in general, the investment on XR is quite high. Um, I will link some statistics in the description below on how much actually like VC and uh, other private investors are investing into this technology just because they see the potential of it. Second, when I think of XR, I really do see the future of computation. We are moving from rectangular screens to immersive head-worn displays that interact with our world. I really believe that, yeah, in not so far in the future, we will be evolving from, yeah, just looking in the screen over here, maybe you can see yourself now. Um, we will just like not being like this all the time anymore. But rather we will yeah, wear glasses and then have all the digital information in our environment and that will be just like the, the kind of like next step for technology for us and this is something that um, it's the main goal of so many big companies and um, just like the natural follow step for how we interact with the digital information. Number three, job listings are growing like crazy at the moment. I mean, I can't speak for every country in the world, but companies all over the world are aware of the power of XR and especially here in Europe, it's growing pretty well. So I think like in many other places of the world, it's gonna go in a similar direction just because we are so 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 globalized already as you know from the current situation so i think it's gonna be like um very high all over the world very soon number four the ones who specialize early are the ones who will dominate the field later imagine being an expert ios developer back in 2008 this is something i really often think about like all the kind of like opportunities we miss uh, with iOS development or like general mobile development when the uh, the hype was so so high At around 2008 2009 2010 something in that direction imagine you would have like um, created some apps just think of like Flappy Bird Doodle Jump all of those like very simple simple games but then they made made like millions and also like other kind of applications that are super simple but then still like so powerful because there were not so many people around making iOS applications. Now like there are probably like 5 million apps every day um, new uploaded in the stores. So I mean now you're just like over overwhelmed by the amount of apps there are. I also think that yeah the future is not like apps most likely because most of the apps um, are kind of like established already if you just like check out the, the top 10 apps um, which is like yeah Facebook, 
maybe <laughs> Instagram, LinkedIn, like the social media things, and then like Gmail, the, the classic things, and then a few other apps that you use, but you cannot use like so, so much um, if you compare to what is out there already. But again, this is like a kind of different topic. If you want to know more about it, then let me know in the comments below. It's just a lot of fun to be at the very front with immersive technologies. There is no, that's how things are done mindset, which is so, so relieving. I hate it so much when and people are like, this is how it's always been done. And yeah, this is a very, very German mindset. I mean, like people here still like use fax and um, are um, not able to use email, I know. Um, but again, like with immersive technologies, there's nothing like this. There is no, like it has always been done like this because it's so evolving, it's so new. There's a new device like every couple of months actually, new SDKs, like we are at the very, very front discovering how we can interact uh, with those applications really. So it is a lot of experimentation and that's what makes it so much fun and yeah, makes it just like, kind of like fresh new thing and not like making the uh, one billionth website there is. And number six, the community is generally very open-minded and supportive and feels quite familiar. And this is something that I cannot stress enough. I really, really like it that, um, yeah, most people in the community, I mean, there will always be toxic people in any community. So it's not, not like we are free from um, bad people or something like this. There will always be people like this. But overall, it's very supportive. Like when you go to LinkedIn, for example, by the way, let's connect and you will stay updated even more. You um, yeah, just get support, like everyone is kind of like supporting each other. It's not like, not like in other niches where they kind of diss each other and stuff like this. Um, because everyone is figuring out this kind of new thing, new thing kind of. Um, but yeah, so that's a really, really cool thing. And a little side note here as well. It's not so much really about the technology itself that you invest your time in. It's much, much more the um, the character that you evolve over this and also the your ability to learn and adapt fast is so, so much more important than whatever language you learn. Like it's, it, you're not like gonna die if you learn C Sharp now and then you might not need it later on. First of all, programming is um, kind of similar in, around the languages. Of course, the syntax is different and lots of concepts are different, but then like fundamentally programming is programming. So you will always learn new stuff and you always can use it. There's like nothing so much wasted there, but then also you just learn to, yeah, you learn to learn. And that's much, much more important than what kind of language am I learning right now? So just go on it, uh, feel free to subscribe and check out Immersive Insiders if you want to be on the very, very front with AR, VR technologies, because everything that I learn, everything that I get, and um, companies are already reaching out to me and like showing me their stuff super early, will be on this platform. So you will have a competitive advantage. You will be happy. You will be a growing community. Check it out. And as always, thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next one.